Hi, Els here. And today what we're going to do is a series of videos that solve problems for financial statements. But what we have to start with is an introduction to the financial statements. Let's name the four financial statements. Statement of financial position, also called the balance sheet. But for this series of videos and moving forward, I'm going to call it the statement of financial position because that's preferred under IFRS. Statement of changes in equity. Statement of earnings, which can also be called the income statement or the profit and loss statement, but I'm going to call it the statement of earnings moving forward. The statement of cash flows. These are the four main financial statements. In addition, you would have the notes to the financial statements, but we are going to cover that in another video. These are the four main statements. Let's look at how the financial reporting elements and the financial statements all tie in together. The financial reporting elements are, of course, assets liabilities, equity, revenue, and expenses. I'm not going to give you the definition of these elements because I've given those already in a previous video. Instead, I'm going to focus on the interconnection between the financial reporting elements and how it all ties in to the financial statements. Let's start with the basic accounting equation. Assets, which are owned by the corporation, are equal to liabilities, which are owed to third parties, plus equity, which is owed to the owners. Equity represents the wealth that the corporation owes to the owners. Equity is made up right now in introductory financial accounting of two things, contributed capital and retained earnings. Contributed capital, also called owner's capital, is made up of three things, opening contributed capital from prior periods, plus issued shares, minus repurchased shares. Contributed capital may be made up of other things, but right now we're going to focus on opening contributed capital from prior periods plus issued shares from the current periods minus repurchased shares from the current period. These three together are equal to the current balance in contributed capital. Let's now look at retained earnings. Retained earnings is also made up of three items. Opening retained earnings plus net earnings minus dividends. I'm going to use the short form for dividends. Retained earnings is made up of opening retained earnings from all past periods plus net earnings from this period minus dividends from this period. All of these are equal to the closing retained earnings from the current period. We still haven't gotten to revenue and expenses. Net earnings is made up of revenue minus expenses. Revenue is the income that the business has earned in the current period by either providing a service or delivering a good. Expenses are the resources that have been used, consumed, or incurred to help generate revenue. Used, such as a truck, to deliver your goods. Consumed, such as the supplies that you consume in order to help you generate revenue. Or incurred, such as the interest that you have incurred from a loan. We can now see that the elements totally tie in to the financial statements. Revenue minus expenses represents the statement of earnings. The movement during the period of contributed capital and retained earnings is equal to the statement of changes in equity. And assets equal to liabilities plus equity, equity made up of the ending balances for contributed capital and retained earnings, is equal to the statement of financial position. We can also see the interconnection between these statements. The statement of earnings is necessary to complete so that we can calculate net earnings. Net earnings is used in the statement of changes in equity. The statement of changes in equity calculates the ending balances in contributed capital and retained earnings, which is required for the statement of financial position. That means in order to produce the financial statements, we generally have to produce the statement of earnings first, the statement of changes in equity next, and the statement of financial position last. The only thing that's not reflected here is the statement of cash flows. That's because the statement of cash flows does not produce a number. These three financial statements produce totals that are used in other financial statements. The statement of cash flows takes the balance of cash from the statement of financial position and explains exactly what happened to it over time. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one.